Okay, this is a common uh, concentration calculation that you might find on a test, and it involves some stoichiometry. Um, so we're given two different uh, compounds in a reaction, uh, and we have to find the concentration of one of them. So the first step is to find an equation if they're not if you're not given it. Um, and so if we remember an acid. Uh, mixed with a, a base or alkali uh, produces a salt and water. Um, so acid plus base produces a salt, not sat, salt plus wa or water. I cannot speak today. Um, and so we can just easily form an equation like so. So hydrochloric acid plus sodium hydroxide forms. So if we just remember um, like reactions and ions and stuff like that, um, it's just going to be uh, whoops, NaCl, sodium chloride, uh, plus water, which is just H2O. Then next, we need to find the ratios between hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide, which is just one to one. Remember, uh, nothing can be produced nor destroyed in a reaction. Uh, all mass and things are conserved in a, during in a reaction. Um, and so next, what we can do is we can find, so we we're given the um, volumes and concentrations. Um, what we need to do now is find the moles. So this is where the stoichiometry comes in into play. We need to find the moles of hydrochloric acid. Um, and so what you have to do, whenever you see centimeters cubed, especially in these concentration calculations, always convert it to decimeters cubed. Um, and so that's just one centimeter cubed equals 1,000. Or sorry. Um, sorry. 1,000 centimeters cubed equals one decimeter cubed. Um, so what we need to do now is find the moles of hydrochloric acid in this reaction. So we just do 0 0.5 because we're, this is already given in decimeters cubed. 0 0.5 times uh, 0 0.015 because remember this conversion here. And that gives us 0 0.0075 mole. Um, and so that's for HCl. So now if we look back, we know the ratios is one to one. So we do 0 0.0075 mole times one is just 0 0.0075 mole. So obviously this is not gonna be the case for all reactions. So say uh, we had like uh, HCl was two, um, in, obviously in this case it's not, but just for an example, um, you divide it by two. So if we continue, we now know the moles of sodium hydroxide is 0 0.0075. So if we use the concentration calculation, which is just moles over decimeters cubed, um, we, if we just plug that in, we get 0 0.0075 over uh, 0 0.01, because remember, we're converting 10 centimeters cubed into decimeters. Uh, that gives us 0 0.75 mole uh, decimeter over decimeter cubed, uh, and that is concentration. So remember, whenever you're dealing with concentration, the unit that's given literally tells you how to find the concentration. Uh, so it's obviously moles over uh, decimeters cubed. Uh, so I'll just do an overview of the steps. So we first found an equation, um, and then obviously you have to balance it. If you have to balance it, this in this case we didn't because everything was already balanced. Then you find the ratios between what you're given and what you need to find. So you're given uh, volume and concentration. You can find the concentration of sodium hydroxide um, given a volume. And then you need to... Um, find the ratios between, yeah, find the ratios between the elements, or the compounds, sorry, and then figure out the moles of 
the thing you already know most about. So for example, we found the moles of hydrochloric acid because we're given the most amount of information for that. Um, and then from there, you just use the ratio if, um, use, yeah, use the ratio to find the amount of moles you need for sodium hydroxide or the thing you're trying to find. Uh, and then after that, you just plug it into the concentration formula, which should give you the concentration of the compound they need to find. Thank you.